Hey, I hope you're doing well. If you're like me and you often use the ATR or a simple price percentage to set your stop losses and take profits, then this indicator will really make your life easier. So first, let me show you quickly how you can get this indicator. So there is a link in the description down below that will bring you to this page here. So that's our TradingView profile and you'll get to this script in particular, this indicator ATR and percentage bands. Then you can just scroll down to here and click on add to favorite indicators. Then once you're on whatever chart you're working with at the moment, you can simply come here in indicators and you'll see in favorites that they will show up here. So you click once and there you go. We have some nice bands that have appeared. So what are those bands made of? Let me show you. The configuration is really straightforward. So first things first, there is the price source that you can choose. So close, you can go open, high, low, etc. This is just the source with respect to which the bands are displaced. So if here in the example, you can see that what I'm showing is two ATR bands where the multiplier is eight and minus four. So it means since I'm using the close, that the band one, so this one up there, is displaced from the close of the price by eight times the ATR. There we go. So I've just also put here easily, of course, you can change the period of the ATR if you want. You can use your keyboard or, so, or go up and down here. And also you can toggle on these bands or not, because also there's this other part of the indicator, the percentage, we'll get to that in a second. So what I was saying here yeah, in this example, I'm mimicking a trading, I mean a trade, a trade entry or stop loss take profit where there's a risk reward ratio of two to one. So that's why I'm showing that my band one is for example like plus eight, this one here, and the band two is minus four. But you could be testing, you want to compare two different take profits levels, for example. So in that case, you could very simply put, let's say, okay, I'll put a six. So I see how it looks like, I put OK, and you can see that now you can compare easily like this. Great. So that's the possibility with the ATR, so all the configuration that you can use, ATR length, the band multiplier, so the ATR multiplier, and then the color, of course, very important. It's important to work with colors that you appreciate, so I did put the color as a choice if you want. Okay. So let's toggle this off to clear the chart. Let's look at this nicely. Let me put this back here. And you can see that you have the second part of the indicator, but this, so this time it's also showing some bands, but rather I can see that this is quite, I should, they're quite far away. Anyways, I put some big numbers, I'm not sure why as a default, I might change that. But anyways, so this means here yeah, band one percentage 0.1, it means I've displaced this upper band here from what, remember, from the price source, so from the closing of all these candles, by 10%, 0.110%. The lower band, what will that be? As you can see, it's minus 0.05, in other words, minus 5%. Same thing, you can change the color, and also just to, you can also totally put all the bands if you're wanting to compare to those two different possibilities or whatever. It's all up to you. And there we go. Okay, I hope this will help. Give me a little like if you enjoyed. And if you would like some more PineScript TradingView stuff, you can check this out. See you soon and take care.